Hello friends, this is Sunil and welcome back to my channel IT Junction for All. In this video, I am going to discuss a very important SQL interview question that is what is the difference between count of star, count of one, count of column name and count of distinct column name. But before proceeding to the theoretical and uh, practical solution, I have a request to all my viewers that if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing my channel so that you will get all my future video updates and don't forget to give thumbs up at the end of the video if you really like my video. Now let's come back to the problem. So for what is the first uh, count function that is count star. So as you must be aware that count of star gives the count of total number of rows including nulls. If there are any, any rows in a table and it is null, it is uh, this count star will take that row also into consideration and it will give the count of total number of rows including that null. Now next is count 1. So practically uh, there is no difference between count 1 and count of a star. It also returns the count of total number of rows including nulls. Some people have misconception that count of 1 represents the first column it, uh, count of total number of rows in the first column but this is not true. Next is count of column name. It returns the count of all the rows excluding nulls. So, uh, so wherever you see uh, find that there is a count of column name, you have to uh, take the count excluding nulls. So it returns the count of all the rows excluding nulls. Now next count of distinct column name. So it returns the count of unique values in that column. If there are uh, duplicate values in that column, it is going to take only unique values into consideration and it will give the count of that. Now next, I will be showing you pr uh, practically how these count of star, count of one, count of column name and count of distant column name differs. So let's now switch to SQL Server. Now let's see the demo of count function. Now for this demo uh, purpose, I have taken employees table. So let me run select star from employee table. So this is employee table wherein we have employee ID, employee name, salary and department ID. Yeah, so there are total 11 rows and if you see there in the 11th rows, we have a null entry for all the rows, uh, sorry, all the columns. Now. We'll, we'll start with count star. So select count of star from employees table. So what is expected? So to count will is expected is 11 because count uh, count star will always take null uh, null values into the consideration. So let me run this. Let me run both input table and this table. So you can see there are total 11 rows right now I am going to show you with the count of 1 so I have already told you count 1 is uh, same as count star it will also take null rows into consideration and I am expecting uh, output as 11 so let me run this again now you, you, now you see that there is 11 for this count 1 as well so some people have misconception, misconception that one returns the uh, 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 returns the count of all the uh, all the uh, rows in the first column, but this is not true. If I do count of eight, so in this table there is no eighth column, but still if you will see, uh, we are getting the same result as eleven. See, we still got the. Uh, 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 result as 11. So what this uh, uh, this count of 8 will do, it is going to replace all the rows with the 8 and it will take the count. So, so don't get confused with count of 1 or count of 8. Even if you give count of minus, let's say minus 5, still you will get the same result. 
see you got the same result so uh, it is simply re uh, uh, replaces all the rows with the minus 5 and then it takes the count so if i do count of let's say any string value let's say it junction for all now if i run still you will get the same result you can see we got the same count so it what it does it replaced all the rows with the it junction for all and it has taken the count now i will be showing you count of column name so count of employee name now let me run now you see that we have total uh, nine rows uh, which is non null that's why we have got the count as nine it has excluded the null values now if i do count of distinct and let's say department id so if you see the department id column we have null also we have one two three four so we have four distinct values right so if i run we will get the output as four so let me run this here you go you got the result as four so what this uh, count of distinct column name uh, has uh, give, <coughs> given <coughs> it has given the uh, distinct values in that column the count of the distinct values uh, in that column so that's all for this video if you really like my video please do give thumbs up and thank you thanks for watching